Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have this question on the board for you guys. So why don't we just get into the question? Well, this question is actually from the 2016 AMO question one. So this is that find all positive integers n such that two to the n plus seven to the n is a perfect square. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is why don't we just try when n is equal to 1, obviously this is true. So, our below working out will all be when n is greater than 1. Hmm. Now, for perfect squares, we usually consider mod 4. Because a perfect square has to be congruent to either 0 or 1 mod 4. So, let's first see. 2 to the n we can easily tell is congruent to 0 mod 4 because n, like we said, is greater than 1. And then we'll try 7 is congruent to 3 mod 4, but 3 is actually equivalent to the negative 1. So we can see that 7 to the n will just be, we can raise this to the nth power, negative 1 to the power of n mod 4. Okay, so now I'm going to add these two together. So you can see that 2 to the n plus 7 to the n is congruent to negative 1 to the power of n mod 4. And now we can split this into cases. So if n is odd, then we see that this will be negative 1, which is equivalent to 3. But that cannot be possible because it has to be congruent to either 0 or 1. So this is impossible. Now, if n is even, then the right hand side will be congruent to 1. And that is possible. So now we deducted that n has to be even. So this being said, can I just let n to be 2m, where m is a positive integer? Yes. So we can plug this into here. So this will be equal to 2 to the power of 2m is the same as 2 squared to the power of m, which is 4 to the m. And then add 7 squared to the power of m, so 49 to the power of m. Now, why don't we first... Okay, so now in here, using mod 4 will be useless. So what mod should we use? Well, when I see this, I think of using mod 5. Because we see that 4 is common to negative 1, and 49 is also common to negative 1. So if we use mod 5, then we can see that 4 is common to negative 1, mod 5. And 49 is also congruent to negative 1, mod 5. So if we raise both of these to the power of m, then we can see that 4 to the m is congruent to negative 1 to the m, mod 5. And we know that 49 to the m is congruent to negative 1 to the m, mod 5. So now, if we add these two t up together, then we see that this is congruent to, if we add these up, then there will be 2 of negative 1 to the m, mod 5. And if you just want to know, this is just a little note, if a perfect square is congruent to something mod 5, then this something has to be either 0, 1, or 4. Okay? And now we can do the same thing over here. We can split it into cases. So if n is odd, let's see. When n is odd, this becomes negative 2, which is equivalent to 3. And 3 is not in here. This is wrong. If n is even, then it becomes 2, 
which is also not in here. Wrong, actually, M. So now we have covered all of the cases where n is greater than 1, and they are actually all wrong. So know that the only possible solution is when n is just equal to 1. So we have found all of the positive integers, but there's only one, which is 1. So this is the final answer of the 2016 AMO question 1. So Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoy my video and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.